In this problem, I'm asked to develop a formula for the cosine of 3 theta as a third degree polynomial in the variable cosine theta. So what I'll do in order to do this is I start with cosine of 3 theta, and I'm going to write this as the cosine of a sum. And the sum that I'm going to use is cosine of 2 theta plus theta. So I can do this because 2 theta plus theta is equal to 3 theta. I could have written theta plus 2 theta. That would have been fine. If I had written theta plus theta plus theta, that doesn't work quite so well because I want to use my formula um, for the cosine of alpha plus beta. So I really just want to keep it to two terms inside there. So now I'll use that formula for cosine of alpha plus beta, and I know that that's the cosine of alpha, which is in this case 2 theta, times the cosine of beta, which in this case is theta, minus, because it's cosine, so we have sine of alpha, which is 2 theta, times sine of beta, which is theta. Okay, so now that I've applied that, um, what I want to keep in mind as I'm working this problem is that I want my variable to be cosine of theta, so I really want to eliminate any sine theta terms or factors that I have. So, back to my problem. Now I have cosine of 2 theta and I can write this, we have the formula for cosine 2 theta. We actually have three different formulas, and I'm going to use the one that only has cosine in it, because that's my whole problem, is to get everything in terms of cosine. So the cosine of 2 theta, I can write as 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. And then that's multiplied by cosine theta minus. Now I'll use the formula for the sine of 2 theta. And the sine of 2 theta is 2 times the sine of theta times the cosine of theta. And so this is going to be part of the difficulty is getting rid of that sine theta factor. And then this is times sine theta. So before I was writing theta in parentheses, now I'm not, and I can go either way, it really doesn't matter. All right, now for my next step. So in my next step, what I'll do, I'm gonna do a couple of things. I'm going to take the cosine theta and distribute it. Let's go ahead and do that. And that gives me two cosine cubed theta which is exactly what I was looking for. So that is good progress. So the problem said to rewrite this as a third degree polynomial. So third degree just means to the power of three. And the variable is actually cosine theta rather than x, like you're used to when you're working with polynomials. All right. And then I have minus 2 times sine theta times cosine theta times sine theta. And so that's 2 sine squared theta times the cosine of theta. So I multiplied those two um, sine thetas together to get sine squared theta. And let's see, what is the next step to do here? Okay, so the next step is going to be a little bit tricky. I'm going to start by bringing down 2 cosine cubed theta minus cosine theta because those are already in the format that we want. We just want to have cosine theta all over the place, not cosine of 3 theta or anything like that, just plain cosine theta. And then one of those terms needs to be cubed because that's what they told us was going to happen. So my only issue right now is that I have this sine squared. And if I can get rid of that then and just have cosine, 
then I'm good to go. And here's how I'm going to do that. So I bring down the minus 2, and now what I'm going to do is say it's minus 2 times the sine squared of theta, and my little trick is that I'm going to say, well, sine squared theta, I really don't want to have that. And I know that that um, relates to the Pythagorean identity, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. So wouldn't it be nice if I had a plus cosine squared theta right here? Because then, in the next step, this would all just equal 1. And you can kind of actually just put in what you want. Now, you can't just add in a cosine squared theta and just say tra la la now I just added in cosine squared theta, but what if we do it this way? So I just added cosine squared theta, and now I'm going to subtract cosine squared theta. So I just undid what I did, and close the parenthesis, because this is really just that sine squared theta. It's just I put in two more terms, opposites of each other, so they cancel each other out. And then this is times the cosine theta on the end. Okay. So, what does that do for me? Let's see. So now I have two cosine cubed theta minus cosine theta minus 2 times, and I have sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta, and as I just said, well, that equals 1. So then I have 1 minus cosine squared theta and the cosine theta on the end. So now I'm just going to do a little bit of algebra, and I'm done. 2 cosine cubed theta just stays where it is minus cosine theta. Now I'll distribute the minus 2 and the cosine theta at the same time. And what does this give me? Minus 2 cosine theta plus 2 cosine cubed theta. And now I can just combine like terms, and that gives me 4 cosine cubed theta minus 3 cosine theta. So I added together the 2 cosine cubed theta and the 2 cosine cubed theta, that's 4 cosine cubed theta and minus cosine theta and minus 2 cosine theta gives me minus 3 cosine theta. And so now, third degree polynomial, only variable is cosine theta, and I'm done.